A House for a Mouse. Mouse was looking for a new house. Can you tell me what you would look for in a new house? <laughs> yes, you're coming up with some creative ideas. I can tell you're putting a lot of thought into it. This looks like a nice house. I imagine there's a nice cozy bed and a warm fireplace. What do you imagine? That sounds like a wonderful house. You can come and sleep with me, said Puppy. Thank you, said Mouse. Well, that was really nice of Puppy to share his house. Do you like when people share with you? That night, Mouse's dreams were bouncy and muddy. That sounds like a crazy dream. That puppy must have jumped into a lot of puddles. You can come and sleep with me, said Parrot. Thank you, said Mouse. Even the parrot is generous enough to share his home. I bet that made Mouse very happy, don't you think? That night, Mouse's dreams were noisy and wild. Hmm, I wonder if that parrot flew all around the world, squawking and having the time of his life. You can come and sleep with me, said Fish. Thank you, said Mouse. How in the world would he sleep in a fish bed underwater? That would be pretty tough. If you could share a house with any animal, what would you pick? Maybe a monkey or an elephant? That night, Mouse's dreams were cold and wet. Do you think Mouse had to hold his breath the whole time he slept? Mouse needed somewhere warm and dry, so not with a wet fish or a muddy puppy or a noisy parrot, huh? Mouse found a bookshelf nearby. I bet Mouse is getting pretty tired, don't you think so? He does not like wet places, muddy places, and what else? That's right, noisy places. Great job. That night, Mouse had a warm and cozy dreams. What do you think those dreams could possibly be about? Good job. You came up with some pretty great ideas. The end.